Today on Toys, evil comes in all sizes. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. And today we are totally checking out their brand new Ultimate Puppet Master two packs, featuring just the <laughs> this this movie scared the heck out of me as a kid. Just all these little inanimate little things coming to life and then they end up killing you right that's cool the box on these are really awesome it's like a little chest you open it up you get to see the two figures on either side so for instance you have tunneler and pinhead in this set and it's just really well presented really cool that they went that extra mile just for the packaging here's everyone involved for the making of these figures so thank you for that here are the barcodes as well both of these are starting to hit Target stores. And then, of course, you have Blade and Torch in their two-pack. And really nice box art, just as the other set. You get to see them both. I just like how they have like little pull-out drawers, accessories, all that. Again, everyone involved with the making of this set. The barcode as well. And I really like seeing the Full Moon Features logo. Now... Again, this movie scared the absolute heck out of me, including Tunneler, <laughs> who was just in the face, and then the fact that he spun his little drill head and then killed you, you know what I mean? Like, it'd sneak into your room and, and drill into your face. But these do hold a certain action figure memory for me. Now, I never collected the Puppet Master figures for back in the day, but going to places like Sun Coast or Sam Goody at the mall. You always used to see these guys, and that's why it was either Wizard Magazine or Toy Fair Magazine, something like that. But I always remember them being on the shelf, either going to look for a Kyoto, Vash the Stampede, or Futurama, something like that. But they were just always there, and I'd always look at them and then go, yeah, no, this uh, this movie is terrifying. And now I have my own sets to go over, so this is just fantastic. Halloween's gonna be great. Sit back, relax, Grab yourself a horrifying cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Ultimate Puppet Master figures featuring Tunneler and Pinhead and Blade and Torch. And here they all are taken out of the packaging. And it's really funny because in kind of dealing with six to eight inch action figures all the time, I had this idea in my head of what the size of these would be. And then discovering, wow, these are a lot smaller than I initially thought. But it works for Puppet Master. So we'll kick it off with Pinhead. He comes with several accessories. You could say he comes with a fireplace poker, which is done really, really nicely. Nice gold to it. Comes with a pair of fisted hands. Comes with a pair of open hands as well for all his weapons and such to hold. And this guy is just very interesting. Like I said, he comes with this giant wrench weapon that you could bash somebody's face in i don't know whatever these things love to do the fireplace poker realistically is like a life-size sort of thing but this guy is creepy looking he's terrifying he's always been terrifying looking he's a little pinhead but he's done well NECA's really gone to town with these on the paint and everything he looks disheveled he looks war-torn he just looks used played with right <laughs> You get some semblance of articulation out of his tiny little pinhead right there, a lot more than you would think, left and right. Also, his neck will articulate along with his waist and a little bit of an ab crunch here and there, like very minimal, like he'll kind of rock and move at the waist, we'll just say. He'll move at the arms, he'll swivel at the elbows. He's got double jointed elbows, which really work nicely and really are flush with the way that he's, you know, the, the sweater that he's wearing. He does have some nice leg articulation as well, a swivel right there. Doesn't really get in the way. Of course, I have to think about all the articulated poses you want to get out of this guy. His swivel at the knees, got single jointed knees, got tiny little feet. That's one thing I'll tell you about every single one of these figures. They got tiny little feet, so get ready for them to take a tumble from time to time, no joke. And then of course another accessory that he and Tunneler can both share that comes in the box is a little beaker with the yellow goo inside, and that's done nicely. And then you get like a fish hook accessory where it's tied together with string. This is all, like honestly like a, a thing I would have done way back in the day when playing with toys. They're nicely done, they're sturdy, and they got this nice string on both of them. You get a tiny little hand for Tunneler, 
Now, this is one thing I'll point out is that you're gonna get some paint fleckage here and there, especially on the main port right there that'll fleck off, but sort of into the hand as well. You get an extra head for Tunneler, which is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. He's got blood splatter all over his cone right there, and it is just the way the face is, and I love that the fact that this thing spins, which just adds to my anxiety from that movie, thinking back at that, but uh, yeah, it just it spins, it looks great, and then you have Tunneler himself with this gun, which works. It all looks great. They did a great job with this. The gun is nice and weathered, nicely done, nicely sculpted, holds it well in his trigger finger hand. So he does have an extra trigger fingered hand. And you can see the two head sculpts right here put together. Now, I'll tell you all day, my dad used to love to scare me with this thing. Come up and go, Zzz! you know what I mean? Just that really did a number on me. Just having that thing crawl in that guy's bed, put his cone, and then it, you see the guy just like twitching and spasming and then they pan back. He's got a giant hole in his head. So, yeah, thanks for that, Dad. <laughs> so, Tunneler is a horrific thing from my childhood right here. Yeah, just holding him in my hands. It's great. It's going to come to life and kill me, I'm sure. But you do get some nice articulation out of the head, left, right, up, down, really move side to side. The arms, really nicely done. Pinhead and Tunneler, they don't have to really be heated up at all. They all just kind of come out of the packaging moving. You do, again, like I said, get some paint fleckage right there. So it's a bit of a bummer right there to have that on his actual palm. That's one thing I don't really care for. He will twist at the waist as well. He'll rock back and forth a little bit. So you do get some momentum motion out of that. As far as the legs go, he will kick out, kick out to the side, kick back. The little piece right here of his uniform will work with you. He's got single jointed knees, which will spin at the knees, and then these little teeny tiny feet. Tunneler seems to stand the best. He's the most solid of them with the ankle rockers on all of these guys. But, yes, from time to time, they will fall over. You can twist his deadly cone of doom right there. This, he's a great figure right here. <laughs> Next up is the two-pack with Torch, and he comes with a Torch accessory. Nicely done. Flame on Johnny Storm action right here. It's painted nicely. Nice bit of fire to really reenact that scene. You know what I'm talking about. The one thing on Torch, though, it came out of the package looking like this. Got a little bent antenna nail head right there, so... Probably have to heat that up and fix it just to kind of get it a little bit straighter. But this guy is one of my favorites as well. I love his bullet teeth. I just overall, I like the uniform, the look of this character. He looks really, really cool. Nicely done. Nicely weathered. Love that the jaw articulates right there. It's creepy. It's terrifying. His eyes are terrifying. And like all of them, you get some nice head articulation out of them. The swivel and everything else. Nice arms. He does have double jointed elbows on this guy, so you get some extra good fire effect rotation out of him. The hands will spin, not so much as fire hand, of course, but uh, yeah, go just go easy on him, we'll just say. Kind of not heat him up, but just go easy on him. Eventually, he will articulate and move with you. Just kind of have to get him going. Nice waist on this guy. He will articulate very, very well right there. Because of the jacket, it may hinder just a just a tad with the legs, but he has single jointed knees. Again, go easy on him. Nothing you have to heat up. You don't want anything to happen. And he will have ankle articulation. Again, with the whole fire effect, this will simply just peg into there. It will make him very, very top heavy, of course. You'll have to get him in some sort of stand situation because, yeah, otherwise he'll go forward every time. And they don't have peg holes, unfortunately. And finally, with Blade, you get a bloodied Blade accessory. You get an extra head that's covered in blood. This is just bringing back all my traumatic events from watching P <laughs> Puppet Master from back in the day, he's got two basically knives, nails sticking out of his eyes right here. You would think the jaw is articulated just the way it attaches. It kind of sort of is, but it doesn't really seem to move a whole heck of a lot on mine. And then the actual figure, which again, I think captures the look of Blade very, very <laughs> nicely. It's terrifying. Just the black trench coat and knives or hook hands. It's just, ugh. Got a little paint fleckage right here. You can kind of flick that off right there. But yeah, overall, again, done nicely. You get some nice 
arm articulation. He's got single jointed elbows. So it will vary from figure to figure. You can go ahead and pull this knife out and put the bloodied one in if you want to do that. And on this side, you got the Candyman hook hand. If you want to go that route, pull that out and replace it with knives. So he's got two knives, hands, blade, really living up to his name. Nice articulation in the waist. Get some nice movement out of him. The jacket will hinder. This is the only one where the jacket really overall hinders the movement of the legs. You can kind of make it work with you. But for the most part, he just has single jointed knees. They'll spin at the knees. And then he has ankle rocker up, down, left, right. Which again, the knives and everything when positioning him makes him very top heavy. The two heads are different enough to really terrify you. I love the blood on the other one. God, it just, oh my God, it's just awful. <laughs> Like I had said previously, I wasn't really expecting the size on these guys. So up against Marvel Legends, they will tower over them, with Pinhead being the largest of the four Puppet Master figures. Same thing with McFarlane toys. They're really in the scale of the old Star Wars Power of the Force Kenner figures, to be quite honest with you. They're around that size through and through, or if you have, like, the Roadkill Rodneys, they're around that size. They are terrifying figures but they are very well done i like the accessories that they came with i think that that works out really nicely just the face on tunneler alone blade he looks all sinister and ready to hack and slash his way into his victims so he looks great i really like the way that torch came out he looks like he's having a blast lighting people on fire i really like the bullet teeth i think that that came out very cool, and Pinhead, as creepy as he is, he can hold the vial, he can hold the wrench, he can hold the fire pick, so they like that all the accessories work with these guys. And I really think that come Halloween 2021, they're really gonna make a great presence for your Halloween display shelf in your action figure collecting room. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Puppet Master figures, Ultimate Blade and Torch, and Ultimate Pinhead and the Tunneler. And thank you again to NECA for sending these out to give you guys this fresh look. One thing I will point out, for Tunneler, he was supposed to come with a pickaxe accessory and it ultimately was not in my box. So I will tell you this, when you go through them at the store shelves, just make sure that you're getting all the accessories. I wanted to point that out because yeah, mine did not have that in the box, which is a bummer. So in that sense, yeah, just please check to make sure that you get every accessory before you buy in the store. They're horrific, they're terrifying, and I think NECA did a great job with them. Very little I would change. I don't really care for the flex of paint, and I think that you're gonna have to find a situation to really stand these guys appropriately because they're gonna take a tumble from time to time. So I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when you go to bed and then the tunneler crawls on your bed and then puts his cone in your face and drills a hole, in, you know what? Just stop. Leave me alone. This I don't like it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.